A developing story, an increased security presence at the Banning High School graduation tonight following a deadly shooting near the school last night. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau has details on the school district's efforts to ensure the safety of students and staff. Banning police boosted their presence along with local law enforcement agencies at Banning High School's graduation on Thursday to ensure everything ran safely and smoothly. You know what? Safety is our number one priority. For Banning Unified School District Superintendent Terrence Davis, it's vital that students and staff feel protected at all times. We value that because we want to do what's best for people in our community. Some on high alert following a shooting near Banning High School on Wednesday night, leaving a 20-year-old man dead. It happened after the graduation ceremony for Coombs Alternative Education, but did not happen on school property. Unfortunately, it happened in our space. Um, as people were still exiting, which gives it that sense of this is too close to home. It prompted the school district to up its police presence for Banning High School's graduation on Thursday. As they're embarking upon their graduation, we just want to make sure that we are present and that we make people and staff know that we are here to protect them to the best of our abilities. Banning police, along with other local departments, including Beaumont Police and Riverside County Sheriff, were present. About 20 law enforcement agents were on patrol, plus the security teams. The security staff in the event, outside of the event, on the street, and one of the things that they've done is really uh, contain the area to ensure there's really one point of exit, one point of entry, which will uh, may be a little tedious in terms of getting in or leaving, but it, it ensures a safe environment. Davis explained that safety is something the district focuses on every day. He emphasized that gun violence is a national problem and that the district is doing everything it can for students here to feel protected. Given the world that we live in now, right, things happen all the time, but how can we take those lessons to continue to improve and increase our security for the district-wise and then work with local law enforcement to ensure the area is safe as it can be. In Banning, Samantha Lumibau, News Channel 3.